Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Victoria 2. So sorry there was no part last week. Uh, some stuff came up and so I was only able to record on a single day that week. Um, also I've got family coming up around Thanksgiving time and they'll be here for about a week and a half. Um, so I make no guarantees that there will be any videos. Um, basically like the week um, of Thanksgiving and potentially the week after. Um, I mean, I'll try to get ahead of my recording so that there are there's no interruptions, uh, but I can't really guarantee that. <clears throat> go ahead and start my timer, and let's go. This is going to be another 30 minute part. Uh, eventually, when I have time, I'll get around to doing an hour long part for you all. Did not mean to uh, pause. So we need to keep Saxony within our sphere um, and we need to beat the crap out of Prussia to get uh, Prussian Württemberg here, the little bit that they control. And that'll give us the ability to form the South German Federation, which is something that I want to have. Uh, Russia. Ah yes, you're still at war with Belgium and the or, excuse me, Belgium and the UK. Uh, the Netherlands is not doing very well. It really should at some point. They really should at some point go ahead and actually, you know, try and just peace out. And I won't be, I still, that still won't give me the full um, 30 units, but we'll be close, which is better than nothing. Uh, we probably will be going to war with the Prussians potentially in the relatively near future, because I did play a, uh, play a little bit just running off of where we ended the uh, last part. And I was able to successfully uh, defeat the Prussians and take this relatively early. I think it was about 1850-ish. Maybe a little bit before that actually. I don't recall exactly when it was, but it was early. That's definitely something I can say for certain. Because uh, the wiki like doesn't recommend fighting Prussia until like after 1850 if I recall correctly but I was able to take care of it like I said a little early uh, we really gotta also go and research the uh, market uh, functionality for the Increase the diplomatic influence. Maybe we'll research that next. Um, also, actually, you know what? I am going to go ahead and not uh, do this. So I'm going to actually go down to uh, interventionism. It's generally better. Just don't bother trying to manage your uh, your industry. That's just the way this game is designed. There is basically no point whatsoever in you, the player, attempting to manage your industry. Now I do find it interesting that Prussia likes to run around with their um, military funding here. Their national stockpile at like 50%. Because even my units could march in here and beat the crap out of them. And that's uh, 60 troops there. They have 56 brigades in total. Ooh. 
Is Russia actually gonna try? Though that's too small. There was that was a 27k British force. They would wipe the floor with this 18k. Well, yeah, whatever. Um, Russian unit. Investments. We do have some. Let's see, can I lower these just a little? Yes, I can lower on the rich just a little. Bring it down to uh, 80%. Still make money, uh, but that hopefully lead to a little bit more investment. And one more artillery needs to be built and then you're done for now. At least as done as you're gonna be for now. Like where where to go? It's cause it was built way over here. Um, oh, I almost forgot about Saxony, although that's fine. I need to actually go with the ban option, which requires 65. Go, you're done, and you know what? I'm gonna send you over here. There's no reason for me to have any troops sitting on the Bavarian border. Me and Bavaria are best of friends, and we always will be. I don't want to get market. Yeah, let's get market structure. Uh, one thing I also realized is that the wiki was also slightly out of date. Because um, the wiki says that the uh, admit to Gemini CB would add, um, at least in our case, specifically. <clears throat> it would make it... <clears throat> no, excuse me. Uh, it would make it so that um, any nation within Prussia's sphere of influence that is within our culture group would be immediately added to our sphere of influence. Uh, reality is that's not actually the case. The reality is it actually now, um, presumably one of the DLCs, or rather the patches that came with them, um, changed this, but now the way it works is actually that it just removes them from Prussia's sphere of influence. So we're going to need a lot of diplomatic influence um, to be able to proceed to add all of these nations to our sphere of influence. Um, especially since I'm not trying to improve relations with them right now, and Prussia, it seems, at some point, decides to decrease their opinion of me or something. Um, because I had that happen to me. Where most of them had, like, hostile relations, so even the plus 200 relation, or the, excuse me, plus 100 uh, diplomatic influence that the game gives you when you use the admit hegemony CB was not enough to be able to add any of them to my sphere. It was at best enough to get many of them to neutral. Um, a couple of them I managed to get to friendly when I was running a test. So, yeah. Go ahead and get the game up to uh, four speed. Because we're still not quite in the position to try and actually. Um, no, I don't want farming efficiency and mining efficiency down for the rest of the game. Um, so pressure the local government to stop it. Two Sicilies once an alliance. 
Now, the reality is two Sicilies is not very useful. Um, they would only be potentially useful if I were to try and go to war with any of the Italian states. And even then, none of them are large enough to actually be a threat to me. I could easily knock out any of them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, yeah. So, I don't really care to have an alliance with two Sicilies. Nor do I really care about Italy. At the end of the day, um, I'll more than likely not prevent uh, Italy from forming. That will cause me some trouble. Uh, at least in my experience, it will cause me some trouble. Now, I do kind of wish France would stay the hell in their lane and not try and influence any of the German states. Uh, war between the Ottomans and Egypt. So, as per usual, the Ottomans and Egyptians go to war. They always go to war. The Ottomans should win that with relative ease. You have 19 brigades compared to the Ottomans' 43. Yeah, the Ottomans should win that with ease. Unless, for some reason, Britain were to get involved. Uh, no, that's unlikely to happen. Because they do not have a, an option for status quo, it seems. In this case, they would need to have at least a friendly opinion, so yeah, no, okay. British could have gotten that if they wanted to, but they clearly decided against it. At least that's the only thing that makes any sense, is that they decided against it. Further improve our relations with the uh, French, and also let's improve our relations with the Russians. And I don't need the Russians deciding to declare a war on me at some point just for the hell of it. Uh, cause you know, that would be a long drawn out war. A war that I really do not care to fight. And yeah, the British beat, um, occupied Luxembourg. It's actually a little surprising that the British even really got involved in this war. They typically don't get too involved in European conflicts unless it's something with the French. Um, at least in my experience. We need to improve our commitment to Baden, because Baden's cutting a little close. Um, yes, I would love more assimilation rate. Ethiopia goes to war, Ottoman Empire expands, yep, Ottoman's already won. And Saxony, decrease Prussia's opinion, ooh, Prussia's... Did Prussia get knocked down a little? No, I don't think so. For some reason I thought Prussia got knocked down a peg or two. But no, I don't think that actually happened. Although maybe it did. I don't know. Um, also, we are going to up tariffs a little. Kind of need the extra money. Ah, wonderful. I can build me the last piece of artillery for one of these armies. Now I'll have three full strength armies. Okay, that's not really working out. Um, actually... 
Raise taxes on you, 80% across the board. For now. Eventually, once we've uh, beaten the crap out of the Prussians and have conquered them, we will have more than enough low-income pops that we won't actually have to tax very high. Uh, but I do need to be turning a profit so that I can stockpile money. Because wars are expensive, especially for a country like us that is incapable of producing its own supplies. Um, at least at any sufficient quantity to do anything. Um, although once we conquer Prussia, that will help us a lot. Oh, I can get another one. Now press the local government to stop it. Could go ahead and get you started. I might do that. I might get started on giving you your artillery. And you're actually going over there. Now I have three full strength armies to use against the Prussians. Out of curiosity, that's 45 brigades for us, 59 for you. Yeah, you would still. But admittedly, I only need to hold off until the French get involved, along with my miners. You know, reality is, I kind of think we could fight the Prussians right now. French have 64 brigades to their name. I'm not going to fight them right this second though. We'll wait a little bit. Um, maybe try and get one more army tech under our belt. Uh, probably muzzle loaded rifles and then we'll go to war with the Prussians. Uh, let's see. Sweden's relations. Good for Sweden. I do not want to kill any of our clergymen because our literacy is not very good. So, I'd rather not kill them. I could also try and get Denmark on my side. Really, I'm kind of struggling to keep up already, so maybe not. Yeah, let's not try and get Denmark on our side. Um, even though that is a potentially useful thing for us to do. Okay, Wartenberg is almost done. Let's drop that down a tier. That way we can be getting a little bit extra to everything else. Uh, Baden, decrease your opinion of Prussia. I'm sorry, game... Oh, okay, never mind. That said Vienna. Not v Venetia. I, uh... I screwed up there. For some reason I thought that said Venetia. But no, it was Vienna. Two completely different cities. And as soon as I do that, it drops back down. Technically, what does the game want me to remove one of? Um, nothing, apparently. Um, it's just, you have a artillery that is not technically fully, uh, supported. Uh, but that'll hopefully correct itself over time. Get out of here, Prussia. Jesus, they are devoting tons of resources to Saxony. And so am I. I've got Saxony maxed at three bars. But that is not enough to keep up with how much they're investing in it. We can lower Baden back down though, I think. That should help a little. Um, and Bavaria. We'll be able to get Bavaria relatively easily. Go ahead and ban the Prussians again. They are back in Baden. 
That's fine, Russia. You can have Krakow. I don't care for it in the slightest. It's not required for anything, nor is it particularly populous. Um, admittedly, I do own a part of the city or the uh, state that it's part of. Uh, but again, I don't really care for it. Well, it is 110k people. That's actually not too bad. Maybe I'll take it at some point in the future, but not right now. Like I said, I don't really care for it. Yep, there we go. That corrected itself. And Wurttemberg is maxed out, so that means now it's actually just decreasing the influence of other countries that are invested in it, which in this case just means decreasing Prussia's opinion. Or not opinion, but their actual number of influence points. And we almost have market structure, which will help us out greatly. That's an extra 10% to diplomatic influence. Uh, yes, we will send an Austrian expedition. There we go. Wonderful. And uh, let's get muzzleloaded rifles, I think. I'm going to need to go down to nationalism and imperialism, but I kind of need to up our military um, prowess. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Brazil and Bolivia, fears of the Papal States, Russia expands. Russia expanded, really? Okay, sure. Uh, Greece. Greek diplomats in our capital are outspoken in their support for an alliance between our two great nations. Are you sure about that? Because, yeah, you're in the uh, British sphere, so that means you're going to say no to me. So, sorry. Greece, you might be outspoken about an alliance between us, but you're never going to say yes unless I get you out of the British sphere. And I don't care to try and get you out of the British sphere. At least, not right now. Maybe in the future, if I decide I give a crap, but right now I don't in the slightest, so. Ah, okay. We're going to need to up Baden to three again. The Prussians are really invested in Baden, which is not good for us. I don't know how the hell they're improving their stuff with Baden so much. I have no idea. Then again, they're probably not needing to be invested in so many different countries as I am. That's kind of their main advantage. But as long as I can get to 65 before they get to 100, we'll be all good. Um, in fact, I'm going to temporarily drop down Bavaria and Württemberg. So I can invest a little bit more into Baden. I think we're going to be cutting it close yet again. Very close, in fact. Get out of here, Prussia. Baden is mine. <clears throat> um. Uh, our options are limited, although we'll never actually go to war with Hawaii. But uh, sure, I don't want to lose prestige. Bavaria, you are currently cordial with the Prussians. That's not good. Go ahead and invest a little in those. Help them buy all the stuff that they need. Uh, Bavaria, further decrease your opinion of the Prussians, and let's get back to reinvesting in Württemberg, at least a little. you 
Trish is getting her hands on the machine parts, it seems. Uh, because we're not... We're sixth place. My understanding is that the way trade works is that it is a first come first serve, specifically in the order of who is at the top of the food chain all the way to whoever is at the bottom of the food chain. As a result, while we need uh, machine parts, we are sixth in line to be able to get them, or to, well, basically to be offered what is available on the market. Um, as a result, let me try and find them on here. Where the hell are the machine parts? Here we go. Um, how many are produced? Uh, 2.13 from France, 1.75 from the UK, 0.46 from Sweden, and 0.09 from Prussia are the top five producers. As you can see, there's only four, so there are only four people producing machine parts right now. Yeah. Uh, what this basically comes down to is that that little tiny amount of machine parts that are being produced uh, every day, I believe, um, I'm only able to buy whatever is left over after the other five countries ahead of me buy whatever they are looking for. And that's only about four in total that's actually being produced right now. So it's really hard for us to get our hands on machine parts. Uh, at least that's my understanding of how that system works. So it's going to take these guys forever and a half to be able to get the 70 machine parts that they require. So they're a little optimistic if they think they can get there. That's about all I can say. So I think next part we will be potentially declaring our first war with Prussia to go and get Prussian Württemberg that will allow us to form the South German Federation and not need to worry about keeping influence over all of these guys only have to keep it over one and then Saxony and maybe then I can attempt to start influencing Denmark that'll make our life a hell of a lot easier they're already improving their relations again in Saxony So, although luckily we are ahead of them by a decent margin right now, although it is kind of closing because, again, they don't need to influence as many countries as our, eh, eh, as we do right now. Revolution in the Netherlands. Dutch reactionaries have taken over. <clears throat> We're about halfway done with muzzle-loaded rifles. That'll help us out a little. Uh, that'll get us a little bit ahead of them in terms of army tech. Army game. Quit moving shit around so much. I, I will say this. I wish the game did not organize this in alphabetical order, but rather just in order of when they were added to the list. Personally. Um, this way, stuff doesn't shift around constantly. I personally think that would be great, but that's sadly not the way it works. It does this in alphabetical order. which just results in it constantly jumping around as other countries start to influence people within my sphere of influence that admittedly I don't give a crap about. I mean, I probably should. Let's be real here. Um, the French are working on establishing Italy. Um, at least I believe it's the French. 
I believe they're the ones that have typically done it uh, when I've played my test games. But nonetheless, I don't care enough to stop them. It's a little too much work. I'm already busy trying to keep Prussia off and I'm very clearly just barely managing to accomplish that. So I kind of don't need to deal with attempting to stop the French from establishing Italy either, or at the same time rather. We have a nice stockpile of money and there's my timer. We'll do a quick investment into these things real quick. Go. Uh, we'll, let, let's just go to the end of the year. Because why not? We're near the end anyway. Okay, so that is going to be it for this part. Uh, like I said, next part I think we will be going to war with Prussia. Uh, to get Prussian Württemberg so that we can establish the South German Federation. I am getting, getting the name correct. Uh, no, South German Confederation. Eh, whatever. Same difference, not really, but whatever. Um, so yeah, like I said, I think next part we'll go to war with Prussia for the first time. With the help of our good friends, the French. Um, don't tell them there's air quotes around there because we're not really good friends with the French um, but all's good all will be good especially as long as the French don't become or excuse me the Prussians don't become allied with the British I've had that happen before and it made the wars drag on forever because uh, France gets like half its country occupied by the British while I'm busy dealing with the Prussians with my uh, miners helping me or spherelings, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but yeah, so next time we should see the formation of the South German Confederation. I'll be able to start focusing on influencing other countries, likely starting with uh, Denmark. Um, Denmark, to my understanding, does hold a little bit of territory that I need to be able to form Greater Germany. Um, so it's a good idea to get them in my sphere of influence. It also will hopefully prevent Scandinavia from forming because Scandinavia can be an annoying country sometimes. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be it for this part. Like I said, I will see you all next time. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share. And as a reminder, I do have a Patreon. So if you enjoy the content on the channel, the easiest and best way to help support it is to go and become a patron, especially because the channel is not currently monetized, uh, at least through YouTube, so it does not get anything. Um, there are also affiliate links down in the description below, uh, so you can go ahead and pick this game up if you do not already own it. Um, and if you use any of those affiliate links, it will help the channel out because I will get a small commission depending on which one you use. Uh, but like I said, that'll be it for this part. So until next time, a goodbye and farewell.